and, and Jan, let's just start with what we heard from the big box retailers over the last couple of days. Target and Walmart both kind of getting caught flat-footed here, not just with the increases that they saw in pricing for freight and for, for anything related to transportation costs, but also just having the wrong mix, uh, too much inventory in the wrong areas. That is really, really unusual to see those two get caught in a trap like that. And I, I just wonder what happened. What do you think? Well, Becky, you know, I was the treasurer of an S&P 500 company in 87, and it seemed a lot scarier than this one seems. <laughs> but I will say that what I saw with Amazon, Walmart, and Target was surprising from the point of view of the way they handled it. One would have thought they might have done a better job because they wound up with way too much inventory at the wrong time, and they didn't mark it up enough to cover the cost structure. That was either bad planning or really bad luck, and I'm going with really bad luck because these are two of the greatest retailers in the world, just like Amazon is the greatest market platform in the world. They all got it wrong, and it's just because the cost came so fast from so many different directions. There was no, there was really no way to adjust the pricing policies to get them where they wanted to be. And the problem with the supply was, I mean, it's still COVID. It's just a snap back from the other side of COVID. So I'm saying this is a one-quarter problem mostly, and it's a two-quarter problem for parts of it. And then the last part, which is the inflation, that's whatever it happens to be. I think that's probably the rest of this year and into the first quarter before they sort all that out. But they'll get their inventories sorted out over the right. next quarter, and they'll also get their pricing policies adjusted in two I quarters. Yeah, Jan, that's what, that's what I wonder with this. Is this just a case where, look, we're seeing a slower supply chain, a lot of things that make it so that they can't react as quickly, and a customer that actually is changing more rapidly than just about anybody's ever seen? It's exactly what's happening. I mean, I ran a business in 79, 80, 81 as well. Yeah. We went through double-digit inflation. Nobody has seen it since then. And how you handle it is all through your organization. You can't just say, okay, we're going to throw a switch and adjust for 10% inflation, which is probably what we're seeing, not eight and a half. If Walmart and Target had just raised their prices as much as their costs, we'd have seen another couple of points of inflation in the system. And, it's and just is that what we can so anticipate? Fast. Is that what we can anticipate from here? Another couple of points of inflation moving in as these companies adjust to the inflation costs that they're seeing? I've assumed that we would get to double-digit inflation. The highest number I've heard anybody actually report so far, government-wise, is eight and a half. I think we're probably running at the double-digit rate, and I think we'll roll over and come down from here. And I think that things will normalize, but it's not going to be over the course of a few months. The inflationary component can't normalize less than a year to 18 months. And as it comes down, things will get better, and all the companies will get smarter in handling it. And two of the smartest in the world are Walmart and Target. And they'll, they'll get it figured out, and they'll fix what's happening here. But it won't solve the inflation problem. It will solve Walmart and Target's problems. And when we come to the back end of this, the watch, Walmart, Amazon, Target, Costco, and Home Depot, will still be the greatest companies in the world. And they'll still be performing the best. But they've got to get to the other side of this mountain we're climbing. Anisha, there are already a lot of people who are looking at the, the results this week and saying, uh-oh, the consumer is already getting hit hard by a recession. We're already in a recession. You, you don't think that's the case, at least not based on what you've seen in the retailers you cover. No, I don't. I think there's a bifurcation of demand because we're spending in different ways than we were a year ago. A year ago, we were spending a lot more time and money in our homes. And now we're going out, we're going back to the office, we're going to weddings and vacations. And so our spend habits are shifting, and you see that in the results. I mean, when you look at where Target and Walmart have to do a lot of write-downs and markdowns and take a gross margin hit, it was on categories like housewares and basic apparel and, and outdoor furnishings. Whereas on the other side, when you look at um, apparel and accessories companies, fashion companies, they're doing great. Nike, Coach, Adidas. Um, you know, TJX yesterday reported positive comp on the fashion apparel business. Um, people are buying different things than they were a year ago. And some of these retailers miscalibrated demand and stocked up on a lot of the wrong stuff. And so you saw the impact of that in terms of the gross margin, in terms of markdowns, as well as inventory write downs this quarter.